Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday? It's Monday. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> Hello you guys, and happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend, and I am so excited to dive into this week. But right now we are at Target. I am going to get some face wash and just like kind of browse around a little bit. Not too long, obviously pandemic, but just I want to get a couple of new t-shirts for myself, a couple of basic. Kind of want to look at their sales section. Right now is kind of the transition between summer and fall, and I, I just want to see what they have. Just a quick little trip to Target and then back home. Okay, you guys, we are back at home and we are having dinner. We ordered pasta. Sole from Madres and also enchiladas. Now we did. <laughs> it's quite delicious. If you're in the Clover City area, I recommend you give it a shot. I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> Raving review from Trevor. <laughs> For those of you who do not know what pasole is, it's a Mexican stew that is a tomato broth with pork and cabbage and radishes and hominy. And it is quite delicious and tasty and it feels like a hug. A warm hug. Enchilada time. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the Madres enchiladas here. It's a variety pack of enchiladas. We got the enchilada verde, the enchilada roja. The enchilada negra. They all look delicious. You guys, that pozole was so good. I just told Trevor that next time we go to this restaurant, we need to order one pozole for ourselves because I don't think I'm gonna be able to share next time. It was delicious. Hello, you guys, and happy Wednesday. Right now, we are in front of my favorite nursery in Los Angeles, Orchid Fever. It's in Culver City, and they have the best stuff and the most beautiful orchids you'll ever see in your entire life. And let's just go see what they have. If we pick something up, we pick something up. So I was gonna do a whole segment like I do where I go to the drive-thru of Starbucks and order a pumpkin spice latte and and just talk about things that I love. But there was no line at Starbucks, so we got a drink really fast, so I just pulled over really quickly into the parking lot and I'm just gonna talk about a few things that make me happy because you know what, that makes me happy. Just a little bit of like a quarantine history. For those of you who don't know, um, I was one of the people who got laid off from their job when quarantine hit and you know that's okay blessing in disguise I'm focusing on taking care of myself and taking care of those around me and just truly doing everything that makes me happy and honestly like this has been kind of the best time of my life got married <laughs> obviously we didn't have a huge big wedding in Malibu in August but honestly that's okay the one thing about Trevor and I is that we don't like it when the attention is all on us <laughs> and so we had a small little ceremony in Santa Barbara at the courthouse with our with our immediate family that's all we needed realistically we had lunch on the beach in Santa Barbara with my parents Trevor's parents and Trevor's brother and that was perfect and obviously I started a YouTube channel 
Fun fact, I've always had a YouTube channel. <laughs> I've always made YouTube videos since I was in college and this is kind of just a more fun approach to it. Focusing on things that make me happy like plants and food and to be able to show our day-to-day -day lives to people that we don't necessarily get to spend all of our time with. And that includes our friends, our family, our family overseas, and some new friends that we make along the way. Again, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yes, back to things that make me happy. Today, I'm noticing that the one thing that truly makes me happy is my morning coffee. I show it a lot during the vlogs and my little intros. There's nothing better than waking up, turning on a YouTube video or NPR or my favorite podcast and just sipping on my morning coffee. I look forward to it every day. I think about it when I go to bed. I try really hard not to have an afternoon cup of coffee, but it's really hard. It is so hard. Today, I'm having an afternoon cup of coffee because today I actually do need it. It's truly the little things. And a second thing is it's the feeling you have when you go out to dinner with your friends and you decide to order a second bottle of wine. <laughs> finish the bottle the waitress comes around and is like all right another bottle ladies and you look at each other and you just collectively like nod and it's like yes we shall have another bottle and it makes me so happy because that means one the night is going to continue and the conversation and the friendship is going to continue and two you get to enjoy more wine the two things that make me the most happy are coffee and wine that's it okay just got home have to share with you guys these gosh darn tapatio mix nuts that we got from Costco I am obsessed I cannot stop eating this my stomach is hurting because I cannot sleep eating these and I honestly should not be eating these because I have dental work done peanuts cashews and almonds in here and they are drenched in tapatio seasoning and I am living for these <laughs> Can you see the spicy goodness that is in this bag? I can't. Look at that cashew. How delicious does that look? Sorry about the state of our house, but we are having a voting party. <laughs> and here we go. We're voting. Hello you guys and happy Thursday! Um, I just wanted to sit down and kind of fill you in on a little update for those of you who don't know and for those of you who haven't, I haven't told, we're moving. <laughs> we are officially moving at the end of the month. We are moving to a house and we couldn't be happier. We felt like it is the best decision for us right now to kind of move away from the city. I have been living here for 10 years almost actually 10 years in February and Trevor's been living here for about six years. We spent our time and our lives in LA and we love it to death. We love the culture, we love the food, we love just everything about the city but we just decided that it would be a better idea to move away from the city and invest our money. So yes, that is the reason why there have been boxes and and packing rolls in the back of every single clip in this week is because we are moving and it is coming at us fast. We're actually moving on the 24th. Right now we are packing all the little things and we are going to be hiring a moving company to come move our lives from here to there. If this week isn't really that exciting or if I haven't been out and about and doing plenty things, it's because of that. And trust me, it's it'll be well worth it when we're in the new place. That is the update for today. I hope you guys have a good rest of your Thursday. <laughs> hey guys, it's me Trevor. I know I've been out of the videos for a while but I'm back. I, I had a pretty sweet video the other week um, where I tried some chicken nuggets that sadly got deleted. This time I'm, I'm a little late to the game but I'm gonna try the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. So this is my first time having it. I, I didn't really want to like compete for getting the sandwich when there was like lines around the block for it. Now it seems like people have come to their senses. Delivered by the fine driver at Postmates. Have a little side of mashed potatoes here for later. Here it is. Pretty good sized sandwich, I'd say. It's got a standard couple pickles. There's special sauce. A couple of pickle there. So, first bite impressions. 
got a crispy breading around the outside. Definitely like more crispy than uh, Chick-fil-A breading. It's solid. Definitely like wasn't worth people waiting in line for. <laughs> I'd say it's like pretty on par with the Chick-fil-A spicy chicken. I don't know, I'd probably give the edge to Chick-fil-A just because I like their deluxe sandwich that has more than just the chicken on it. You know, all the fixins. They, you're just not quite getting here, but but good, good job, Popeyes. Yeah, you, you came through. Favorite part's probably the breading. It's, it's very crispy and like crunchy, which is nice, especially from like a fast food sandwich, you're not gonna get that. The, the spice is like pretty good. It's not really hot. You feel like a little bit of warmth on your mouth. So that, that, that's my take on this, this here chicken sandwich. Yeah, but I'd probably go with the chicken biscuits. Maybe get this if I was like driving or something and I couldn't like reasonably eat chicken. But that's that's Trevor's hot take on the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Stay tuned for more Trevor times. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello you guys and happy Friday. And I'm eating tapatio nuts with a spoon because I don't want to turn my fingers red. <laughs> you guys, I'm just so tired. I'm really tired. Packing is taking a lot out of me and kind of just like the mental strain of having to move an entire apartment and our entire lives to a new place. It's just exhausting mentally to me. And so I just decided today I wasn't gonna make lunch. Today we were going to Postmates and that's okay. That's perfectly okay. Trevor and I are on a health kick right now. We're trying to be a little bit healthier, especially with quarantine. It's easy to kind of like spiral out of control and snack and just, you know, make really bad decisions. But we have been doing really well making our own lunches, making the majority of our dinners and just knowing what goes into the meals is kind of really helped us and also exercising whenever we can. Trevor is out on walks like two or three times a day with Gizmo. Um, we have our Peloton bike and Trevor does a lot of yoga in, in the house when he doesn't feel like doing like really intense cardio. Uh, we try to at least get two or three workouts in a week. We haven't been succeeding very much this week. <laughs> but you know what, that's all right. We'll just try again next week. But tonight we are going on a date night. We're going to a place called Hatchet Hall, which is a nice little small plates restaurant with a beautiful outdoor patio. And we are gonna just go and enjoy each other's company, have some cocktails, have some really good food because it's been a really long time since we've gone somewhere like really fancy or this fancy. So I'm kind of, I'm excited. As you can see, makeup's done. I just gotta put on a little eyeliner, but yeah, let's go get some small plates, some tapas, some Tapas? Is it tapas? It's southern tapas, right? Southern style tapas. How good does that sound? I am going to have a martini and it's gonna be great. On Saturday, we were lucky enough to be invited to the Plant Chica's Adopt a Plant event. It's an event that she hosts a couple of times a year, but obviously with the pandemic, she hasn't had one in a while. But this time, she was able to throw it safely and efficiently. She had a great selection of plants that you could pick from. It was one plant per person, and she had a lot of plants that were discounted that you can shop from. You can also shop her normal collection, where she had common and uncommon plants. It was such a great event to bring the plant community together, especially during these dark times. And I cannot wait to go to our next one. We got top round. For those of you who don't know what top round is, it is roast beef sandwich place in West Hollywood. It is so good. It's like grown up Arby's. We've gotten this twice during the pandemic and both times we've like fully eaten in the car. This place has actually been featured in Worth It. And that's how we kind of like, we haven't really discovered it. Like Trevor has been driving past it when he used to work around this area, but. Honestly, if you didn't know, like it was good, like you would probably just not think of anything of it. Like yeah. the sign doesn't like make you want to eat here. There it is. 
in all its glory. A top brown sandwich, and as you can see, there's cheese, first radish, and mushrooms. Mushrooms. Mmm. All right, you guys, that is it for this week's vlog. We hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching and you guys have an incredible week. Please like and subscribe to this video, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you next week. Tell your friends about us, you know? They're gonna like it too. Yeah, we hope that we're fun. Yeah. <laughs> we're fun people. But yeah, we'll see you around the vlog.